Hey Aries, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. Hey ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is to go on and just give you a romantic reading, um, which is valid until the end of this month. I've decided to use my Lenormand's deck today as Shuffle and Illustrated, as you see here. In addition to two other Oracle cards that I feel that will give you a bit more party advice. In Aries, if this reading resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, Aries, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, let's go on and get started by first be pointing out a few uh, or making a few general observations as to what I'm kind of seeing here regarding the person or persons that I'm kind of seeing that you will have some type of connections with from now until the end of this month. I'm kind of getting a sense that this person appears to be a bit uh, spiritual or religious in some sense, and uh, he or she would also feel to you as if he or she is a soulmate. I'm also feeling a sense that it might be even someone returning from the past that seems to be coming back to you. I'm feeling an old friend or a lover who appears to be returning. Okay, I'm feeling the person to be very generous and loving, uh, very confident, you know. Uh, I'm also picking up an elderly or mature type person for some of you who appears to be very open-minded or self-made even and perhaps even on the go or sometimes have a problem I'm feeling with this person. This person has a hard time kind of settling down. Uh, he or she tends to bore, bore easily, okay? It might be a bit... I'm feeling the person might be a, a bit set in his or her ways. Stubborn and uh, very critical, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's go on and get started with the card beginning. That, uh, we'll either fall into the end, bottom of this deck here. We have this stork card there. Okay, so uh, this card is certainly all about new influences. If that's kind of entering, you know, your life. And the rulers of this card is are Jupiter and Uranus. And it connects us with water signs, okay? Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancers. And it's all about, you know, movement, transitions, and renewal, changes, okay? Usually those of a very positive, quite a very positive nature. So this card certainly says that you are a bit restless, or you might be even feeling a bit restless and ready, you know, really ready for a change romantically, particularly in your... Yeah, I'm feeling in your, you know, that you would like to kind of manifest for your future. So since this stork is kind of looking towards the right here, we see that as a directional clue. It shows many of you being rescued from a romantic struggle, if you will. You know, this card kind of thus represents a repeated occurrence that's going to take place. Therefore, I feel a lover from whom you may have been estranged is going to possibly return or someone that you dealt with in the past is going to be returning. And many of you might, in fact, might also also decide to become a bit more serious. Okay? So let's go on and get look at the card here that's kind of falling here. And these, these cards here examine what's, you know, perhaps may have already occurred. And, of course, these cards show what is likely to occur. Okay? So we have this man card there. Okay, so uh, it could either gentlemen refer to yourself or ladies, it could refer to a gentleman that perhaps might be returning or someone that you've dealt with. Okay, um, uh, and since, you know, because it falls to the past, it shows some past dealings, you know, that perhaps you may have had some interest. And like I said, gentlemen, this just might, you know, refer to you. But for women, it refers, certainly refers to a male that you may have dealt with. And the ruler of this card is the sun. And it connects with water signs, you know, Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio. So since this card is so close here, you see here to that tree card there. You know, more than likely, this man is very health conscious. Gentlemen, once again, this could refer to you or for women. It could refer to a man that you're dealing with. Even spiritual or religion or grounded. You know, a balanced type person. I'm feeling even between 30s and 40s. I'm seeing multiple people here. You know, might even work in medicine or even a health care profession. And you might see, uh, I'm feeling him or her, as your soulmate. You know, gentlemen, like I said, you may see the female as your soulmate in women. You may see this man that I've described. But, you know, since I'm kind of feeling here that 
the key here is kind of urging you here is to kind of with this card is you know try to you know really remain uh, a bit patient with this card because again when you're connecting this tree card here with that heart card which is your significator here that i've used here it shows kind of you know how developing patience and it shows that this you may have gone through some type of an emotional period so it urges you to kind of allow some time for your situation to develop and really try not to be so anxious about your future that i'm seeing here okay so let's move on and connect your cards here. Like what I'm seeing coming up in your future there, we have the that dog card there. And the ruler of this card is Venus. And it connects with water signs. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And it's all about a friend, a person that you feel as a soulmate or someone that you'll soon meet, ladies and gentlemen. So since this card is so close here, as you see, to that heart card there, you can trust that you've met or you're going to reconnect uh, with the right person I'm feeling here because, you know, you're going to, this person is going to make you happy. I kind of see both an older and a younger person. And this person, however, might even be a bit needy. I'm kind of feeling at times um, with uh, kind of, you know, just, just too needy, just asking for so much, so much. So if that has ever been the case, I'm kind of feeling, you know, perhaps you, should uh, kind of inject more power or leadership into your situations, I'm feeling. Um, and, you know, nevertheless, you can kind of trust this person, I'm feeling, as he or she appears to be your soulmate, I'm getting here, because you have all of the relevant cards there, okay? And one with whom you can build a relationship. And since this card sits so close here to this Lily card there, Ladies and gentlemen, for many of you, this relationship would certainly be sincere. And it looks like it might even be a late romance for some of you or the relationship. It's going to be a mature or serious type relationship. So this card is kind of asking you that you might want to consider planning carefully or your situation might not develop as quickly as you like, you know, because with this uh, Lily card, Saturn rules this card and connect with Earth signs. Capricorn, Virgos, or Taurus, and it's all about satisfaction, contentment, and again, maturity. So it looks like that you have a few things to kind of consider as, as it relates to your romantic situation, but it certainly seems that you're either going to, um, you're going to reconnect with someone from your past, or you're going to be meeting someone new with whom you're going to be feeling a strong soulmate type connection. Okay, so I wanted to just move on and just discuss um, these two oracle cards that I decided to use to just give you a bit more parting um, advice into your situation, which again, this reading is valid until the end of this month. The first card here is just breathe, ladies and gentlemen. And as you would expect, this card is certainly all about, you know, taking time to rest, to recharge, just, you know, as with the hermit card in the tarot type deck, okay? So, so much time and, and you've expended so much energy it looks to me in trying to kind of maintain stability in this relationship and it may have not been easy for you but this card is suggesting that you might want to take some time to kind of rest you know and you know take a break from the situation and and reconnect with your more spiritual values you know just be, just set aside to just steal your mind of this situation. And, you know, by kind of taking time and caring for yourself, you're going to really recharge these emotional batteries, batteries that, you know, that you kind of uh, feel that may have been damaged. Okay. And you'll be able to move forward um, in your situation a bit better. Okay. And your next card here is all about blossoming. Okay, so the card is certainly all about direction and growth and great possibilities that could kind of crop up, you know. So you, when you're kind of seeing this card, it's, it's kind of time for you to kind of really um, nurture the, the relationships that you feel find yourself in and just understand that things are about to grow for you or you know new this card is all about blossoming and new growth so it shows that a new direction is certainly ahead for you guys for for those of you who really want that 
Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought for you. Should you wish a more personalized reading, you can definitely contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. And once again, if it resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe, please take a few moments to do so now. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks a lot for your time, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.